Hi everyone, Ryan here, and today I'm teaching you everything you need to know about triangles on the SAT. In this video, I'm going to cover angle rules, similar triangles, and trigonometry. And I put chapters in the timeline below so you can skip to the sections you need help with. Let's start with angle rules. Angle rule problems are a little bit like solving a Sudoku puzzle. You don't really know where you're going, but as long as you keep filling in numbers, you'll eventually get to the solution. So let's start with number 17 on the left here. In the figure above, line MQ and an R intersect at point P. NP equals QP. These two are equal, and MP equals PR. What is the measure in degrees of angle QMR? So when they ask this, I always like to highlight the angle. So QMR, the middle one is the angle they're talking about. So it's this one here that we're asking about. First thing, I have these angles here, and this starts with rule number one, that all triangles add up to 180 degrees. So we have 70, 60, so we know this third one has to help us add up to 180. So it would be 70 plus 60, plus x equals 180, and we get 50 as x when we solve that. So that's 50, and I like to write things in as I get them. Next rule is about vertical angles. So vertical angles are when you have two lines that are intersecting like these here, so this line and this line, the angles that are across from each other are equal. So if this is 60, this is 60. That applies for all vertical angles. Next, straight lines add up to 180 degrees. So looking at this line here, we got 60 here, so this one has to help it add up to 180. So 180 minus 60 gives us 120. And then again, we have vertical angles here. So if this is 120, this is 120. Now we have a triangle down here, and we know these two sides, this one up here and this one up here, are equal. So if these two sides are equal, this is an isosceles triangle, and that's important because it means these angles down here and this one are equal. So if the sides are equal, the angles across them are equal. And again, we go back to, we know triangles add up to 180 degrees. If this is 120 and we have these two equal ones left, it's going to be 120 plus two equal angles. So 2x equals 180. And we get x equals 30 when we solve that. So this one is 30 and the answer is 30. So next question, I recommend you try it first. So pause the video and try it, and then I'll walk through the question. So this one here, another similar question, number four, it says in the figure above, RT equals TU. So RT equals TU. What is the value of X? I'm gonna start by, I see that these sides are equal. So I know this angle here equals that one there. And let's start filling in our angles. So this is 114, so I know this line adds up to 180, so this angle here has to be 180 minus 114, so let's do that. So we get 66. Now we have this triangle on the top left, and we know this adds up to 180 degrees, so this angle has to be these two added up minus 180, and we get 83. So that's 83, meaning these are vertical angles, so this one in here is also 83. So now this one here in the corner, we have 114 for this, and we know this big triangle on the bottom adds up to 180. So it's gonna be these two angles plus this one at the top equal 180. So let's find what these angles are. 2x for those angles we're missing plus 114 equals 180. So x equals 33. So this one in the corner is 33. And now we have this angle here and this angle here. We can solve for this final angle in the corner because we know they all add up to 180. So it'll be 33 plus 83 plus x equals 180, and we get x equals 64. Let's move on to similar triangles. So anytime you see two triangles in a problem, you can almost always assume they're similar, but I would be careful and just check to make sure. So how do we know they're similar? The main way they're going to do this is with angle-angle similarity, or by giving you a triangle inside of a triangle, like the one on the right. Let's start with angle-angle on the left. So we have this problem here, before I even read anything, I know it's similar because this angle equals this one, because they showed us that, and these two are vertical angles, so those are equal. And any time a triangle has two angles that are the same, they're similar angles, meaning they're in proportion. So they may not be the same size or have the same measures, but it's kind of like a Word document where you stretch something and you made it bigger. Like everything's in proportion. We can use that to find sides and other features of the triangle. So let's read number 17. A summer camp counselor wants to find a length X in feet across a lake as represented in the sketch above. The length represented by AB, EB, BD, and CD on the sketch are determined to be, and I'm gonna start filling in the numbers, 800 feet, 1400 feet, let's see, 700 feet, 800. Segments AC and DE intersect at B, we see that there, and AEB and CDB have the same measure. We already covered that. What is the value of X? So X is this side. 
So we have the lengths of the sides of some triangle and we're gonna use similarity to find what they are. So this triangle here on the right is just this one smaller and kind of rotate. So I'm gonna redraw it. So I do that. So this angle down here, I'm gonna make this one here. And then this angle here, I'm gonna make this one. So on the smaller one, the bottom would be 700 and the left side would be 800. So we see now this one on the right is just a smaller version of this one on the left. And we use ratios to find what this other side is gonna be. So we're looking for X. So the side here, the small one is 700 and that's compared to the big one being 1400. So 700 over 14 is gonna be the same proportion as the other sides. So the side on this one is 800 and we don't know what this is, so that's gonna be X. Now we solve this. The first thing I'm gonna do is reduce the proportion here to just be one half equals 800 over X, cross multiply, and we get X equals 1600, and that's our answer. Question number 18 is similar, but a little bit different. We have similar triangles here, and we know that because one, it says BD is parallel to AE. So if this line is parallel to this one, they both hit this. If this is a right angle, this one's also a right angle, and they share this angle. So the small triangle has this angle, and the big one has this angle. So angle, angle, similarity, these are similar triangles. Let's start solving it. First thing I do with all geometry puzzles, I just start filling in things that I know. Eight, six, and we know this is gonna be something based off the Pythagorean theorem. So do eight squared, six squared equals x squared, and x is 10. So this one here is 10, and we're looking for CE, which is this big line here. And again, we're gonna use proportions to get that. So we know this one's six, this one's 18, so the proportion is six over 18 equals, and that's small to big, so the small hypotenuse is 10, and the big one is gonna be x. Again, first I reduce my proportion, this is 1 third, equals 10 over x, cross multiply, and I get x equals 30, and that's our answer. Finally, let's move on to trigonometry. There's two types of main trig problems you're gonna see. One is the traditional type of trig, which is the easier variation, and the second one, which we'll go over on the right, is the more niche kind of getcha question variation. So let's start with the left one. In triangle ABC, the measure of B is 90 degrees. I'm going to start by just drawing this out. A, B, C. B is 90 degrees. BC is 16. AC is 20. And triangle DEF is similar. Okay, they're telling us it's similar. I'll draw DEF. Do that right angle and it corresponds to ABC respectively. Each side of DEF is one third the length of the corresponding side of ABC. So I'll do 20 over three, and then 16 over three. And it's asking what is the value of sine of F? So let's go over trig identity. So trig, you probably heard this before, you need to remember, so ka toa. So so is sine, ka is for cosine, and toa is for tangent and all these other letters stand for something so so is opposite over hypotenuse that means if we were getting the sine of c here it would be this one divided by this one that's all it means it's a ratio cosine would be adjacent over hypotenuse and lastly tan is opposite over adjacent so that's all you need to know you need to know which angle you're using and then which trig identity is to get that proportion so we are looking for sine of f which is this one here so i'm gonna do a little shortcut we know these are similar and sine cosine and tan are just ratios so i'm going to use the triangle we already have because the ratio is the same because they're similar so sine of f is going to equal this one over this one so that's going to be something over 20 and we just have to find this side so let's do that so that's going to be 16 squared plus x squared equals 20 squared so this side is 12 meaning sine is 12 over 20 which is three fifths and that's our answer so just know the ratios and what you have to do to set up your trig identity number 36 is a question you will get wrong unless you know the specific rule here it's that simple looks like a tough question if you knew the rule it's easy in triangle rst above w not shown lies on rt so let's just say it's right there w what is the value of cosine rsw over sine wst so cosine rsw would be rsw so it'd be that one there and sine WST would be WST would be this one there. So we notice these are the two angles next to each other, which are called complementary angles. And there's a simple rule here that you might not know. The rule is that the 
sine of an angle is the same as the cosine of the complementary angle. So the sine of an angle is the same as the cosine of the angle next to it, meaning they're equal. So cosine, sine, they're the same thing. Say they were both 50 degrees, so 50 minus 50. Answer is zero for that one. Quick trick, but you have to know that if you want to score above 700. Thanks for watching. I hope this video helped you learn some triangles. On this channel, I do free SAT math tutoring, so subscribe for more SAT math help.